hello all in this video we will learn about the algorithm ford fulkerson uh, algorithm and this algorithm is generally used to find out the maximum flow uh, between the uh, source and destination vertices uh, what is the problem of maximum flow generally we have a network of uh, cities and uh, we have different pipelines available in the city and the size of each pipe is not necessarily to be the same each, each uh, pipe may have different capacities some pipe have uh, smaller capacity or some may be larger capacity for example we can have a network of pipe with this capacity or network of pipe with somewhere this pipe may be smaller diameter okay now uh, these all pipes are dis uh, placed inside a city network and we want to find out the maximum flow that could be possible from a source uh, city to the destination city now uh, what would be the possible combinations uh, via cities uh, so that the max uh, the flow at this destination network would be maximized okay so this is a problem so we have to compute the greatest rate at which the material or can be shipped from the source to sink uh, without violating any capacity constraint in between so this is the maximum flow problem now for this problem we will have a network which is generally called the flow network and the flow network can be defined as a directed graph in our uh, data structure so we can maintain a flow network as a directed graph with some vertices these vertices may be considered as cities or in some other applications like we can uh, map this same problem into the uh, electrical current through a wire so uh, this problem can be uh, mapped to any real life application which is similar to the constraint defined on this application okay so we have uh, used graph data structure to map this problem so v is here representing the cities and e is uh, representing the pipes and the weight of each edge represent the capacity of the pipe so it is a directed graph directed means we can uh, by the direction we can mention the flow direction means whether the flow in the forward direction or in the reverse direction uh, so each edge uh, uv u and v are some vertices in set v if edge belongs to e then it may it might it must have a non negative capacity represented by c of uv and which is always greater than or equal to 0 if the edge is not belongs to set e then the capacity of c u is equal to 0 okay and one more assumption is that we assume that every vertex uh, in v every vertex small v which is belongs to a set v there exist a path uh, which is in which this vertex v comes okay so there exist at least one path on which this vertex v must occur okay so every vertex vertex uh, vertex in the graph must comes in some of the path from source to destination so uh, these are the two assumptions uh, for defining a flow network so this is we called a flow network now flow uh, to define the flow in the flow network a flow is a real valued function such that it is uh, any real number r that satisfy three properties first is capacity constraint second is skew symmetry and third is flow conservation the capacity con constraint says that your flow uh, suppose uh, flow is f flow between a vertex u to v it must be less than the capacity of that vertex and it is feasible thing means if you have a pipe 
of this diameter you cannot uh, enter the flow uh, bigger than this diameter okay so the first constraint capacity constraint means you cannot uh, uh, you cannot put uh, the material uh, greater than the pipe capacity okay so first condition is capacity constraint another one is if you have a flow from u to v then we can equate that flow in reverse direction v to u so if i have a flow 5 in the forward direction i can say that minus 5 is also uh, can be put in the reverse direction okay so the flow network always follow the skew symmetry property so we can have suppose for example if we have two vertices v1 and v2 and the forward direction flow is 12 then i can embed minus 12 in the reverse direction okay now the flow conservation so the flow conservation says that for all vertices for all vertices let me write here for all vertices belongs to the set v minus s and t means except the source and destination vertices the overall flow in the network would be zero means summation of flow from u to v is zero so there is no flow generated by any city in the network means up in, if, if there is a city of networks there is no leakage or something by that the flow came may be increased or decreased so overall flow between the network uh, except source and destination because source vertex is responsible to put the flow in the network and destination vertex is responsible to uh, fetch all the flow in the network all intermediary nodes cannot generate any liquid and cannot generate any flow in the network or cannot uh, fetch any flow in the network so the summation of all flows uh, of uh, intermediary vertices would be zero or uh, the total flow out from the source would be equal to the total flow uh, in from the source vertex okay total flow in from the destination vertex okay so for at each vertex there is a property flow in is equal to flow out so this property is the flow conservation property at each vertex we have a flow uh, in equal to flow out generally in uh, uh, these flow networks we will represent the flow by uh, slash notation so if in this flow network these are the capacities initially all network have some capacity defined the edges is the edge direction represent the flow and uh, the weight here is represent the capacity now if you want to uh, embed some uh, if you want to represent this network into some flow it means if a source vertex embed some of the flow in this network then the flow can be represented by uh, like this if i embed a flow of 11 in this direction then this is a flow this is a capacity this is how we represent the graph in a flow network so flow network is generally represented by flow from u to v divided by capacity from u to v if we have any flow from u to v is greater than zero if we have flow from u to v less than or equal to zero then we represent only the capacity okay so these are the sum of the notations and about the flow network now we will start with the algorithm for full cursion and try to solve the same problem using this algorithm i think you have understand what is the problem we have to maximize uh, we have to find out the maximum possible flow from source to destination with satisfying all the constraint which is defined over this flow network okay so let's uh, move to the algorithm ford fulkerson so this is the algorithm of ford fulkerson uh, in this for each edge uv that is belongs to edge set initially we uh, have zeroth flow in a network in either direction either from u to v or v to u then we have to find any path p from s to t in the residual capacity graph gf we will explain when we solve one problem 
what is a gf what is residual capacity so we have to find out any path from s to t calculate the bottleneck capacity means bottleneck capacity means in the path what is the minimum uh, size pipe is there that is the minimum capacity capacity bottleneck capacity it means we cannot flow more than that in that path so we will find out the bottleneck capacity by finding the minimum capacity between the path uh, between, uh, for all ages u to v in p then for each age u to v in p we have to add the flow in uh, plus the bottleneck capacity so initially flow is zero so we will add the bottleneck capacity into that flow so that this path may have the flow with that bottleneck capacity also we have added the flow in the reverse direction this is to find out the residual uh, graph so in the forward direction we add the residual capacity into the flow and in the reverse direction we will have the same capacity with negation okay so we will repeat this process until there is exist a path p in the graph gf so let's uh, solve one problem based on this algorithm you will uh, note down this algorithm uh, so that we can trace this algorithm according to the problem okay i will 